guys welcome back to my channel before we get into the video if you're new here don't forget to like comment and most of all subscribe now let's get into it so i have so many stories from my relatives about haitian mermaids okay as a young girl i've always been fascinated by haitian mermaids because of like stories that my father would tell me so basically um i had an uncle who was in haiti and he was uh going like just walking along the beach and no not the beach i'm sorry the river and while he was walking he saw a mermaid sitting on the rock combing her long hair i know that sounds cliche like but it's true he did not tell anybody about this until he came to america years i mean years later it happened when he was a young boy in haiti he was like what 12 and he came to america about uh, 18 years of age and he was walking and the mermaid got startled and jumped into the water he said and then he was so scared that he ran back to his house and while he was sleeping that night he says the mermaid came and um asked him back for his comb in his sleep because he said that oh, i forgot that part he said that while the mermaid jumped into the water the mermaid dropped her comb he got the comb and the mermaid came back that night in his dream and asked him for that comb i as a child i believed every story because i was just so gullible and it's like whoa like he says the mermaid was white um the mermaid had like a green tail he says that the mermaid was very very beautiful of course and that the mermaid like only likes you if the mermaid allows you to see him or her well her then they really like you they they want you to see them and he was just um saying that all of his siblings he had like he has two, two other brothers and one sister they all saw the same mermaid and they never spoke to one another about seeing that mermaid until years later after the event and in haiti like um the mermaid spirit is very prominent especially in the voodoo culture um it's a marine uh i don't know if you if you guys are familiar with like the marine kingdom in the spiritual realm um basically those mer creatures are part of the marine kingdom and they are evil they are not godly um a lot of people that worship santeria voodoo obia whatever witchcraft they do um they look to these creatures for guidance for luck for money for attractiveness especially for women and uh it's in the the culture in the music culture like uh, marala negra i know you guys know her she did a video called ashun she was in the water that's that's like a summoning spirit of the mermaid um what else it's in beauty products a lot of uh beauty products like makeup um, they have, there was, what is this new makeup that has the mermaid on it? I forgot what it was called, but they have mermaids on it. It's like, it's, it's not, uh, it's not godly. And, um, just to say the least, it's not godly. But that is one story of a mermaid, um, uh, in Haiti. Another mermaid story in Haiti is told by my mother, so basically her grandmother her grandmother went fishing one day. no no her grandmother went to the water to collect water because you know in haiti they have they had to collect water like with the buckets with buckets so she went to go get a bucket and go fill up with water so she could bring it back to her place and she was a young girl at that age so she went to go fill up water and then something dragged her under the water she she tells me that her grandmother stayed under the water for seven days. They had to come do a ceremony so that she could be released from this from the, the marine kingdom under the water. My mother says that her grandmother told, told all her grandchildren the story. So, story. so basically, she says that 
under the water is another world. It's another realm. She said she was a slave uh, for the, the mermaids. And the mermaids would have her run errands. And basically the saying goes, if they send you to the supermarket, if the mermaid sends you to the supermarket and you return with the wrong item, they'll send you back to the to the to 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 the world, to our world. But if you get the correct items, they will keep you as a slave. So my grandmother, she, my well, my great grandmother, because it was my mother's grandmother, she basically would bring the wrong items, and the mermaids released her. And when they release you back. They release you back with a gift. And she was released with a gift of delivering babies without going to school. She had that gift. She delivered all the babies in the community um, that she lived in, in the village that she lived in. Everybody came to her and she converted to Christianity. And she was a devout Christian, a faithful woman of God that died believing in Christ. And... Um, these mermaids, these marine spirits, they are not to reckon with. So if you're thinking about summoning uh, uh, the 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 mamiwata, the la sirena, whatever you want to call it, don't do it. They are and in another one in Trinidad, there's a there's basically a marine a mermaid. Basically, if a mermaid likes you, they allow you to see them, but. If you want riches, which they will give you, somebody in your family will have to die, okay? And if you don't want anybody in your family to die, basically you would have to go to the ocean at midnight and you would have to put your shoe down and turn your back and not turn your back on the, the ocean and not look back on the ocean and walk away. And then, then that breaks the contract with the, with the mermaid spirit. Those are stories that I've been hearing, you know, these are stories. But me, myself, I believe in Christ, the Lord, my Savior. And uh, I'm just telling you guys once more, they are not to reckon with. Even if they come in as beautiful and nice, they are not to be reckoned with. And that is the story. That's the story, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. You heard? Peace.